In this section, we want to expand our derivative properties to enable us to find the derivatives of both exponential and log functions. Before we get into those derivative properties, though, let's review a little bit of the relationship between exponential functions and log functions. So if we have some function, y equals b to the x power, That's true if and only if we have the log base b of y equal to x. So log functions and exponential functions are just inverses of each other, methods for solving the other type of equation. So they each have the same base. We have the same y value, the same x values, so we have that relationship that connects these two types of functions. A couple of other things to be aware of for both, or to kind of refresh your memory on for both, is that an exponential function b to the x power can never be equal to zero. So if we plug in a whole number here, a negative number zero, we'll never be able to get that to equal zero. And for log functions, if we take the log base b of 1, <clears throat> so for a log of any base, that's always going to be equal to 0. And if we take the log base b of b, so if the base and that number correspond with each other, if they're exactly equal, then that'll equal 1. So concepts you should be familiar with from a college algebra course or some previous course. Well, we do want to take a second to make sure we refresh ourselves on it as well, is the difference between exponential and power functions. So applying our derivative properties are, is going to be dependent on our ability to recognize the type of function we're dealing with. So if we have an exponential function, then we want to keep in mind that we're going to have some constant as the base raised to a variable power. In a power function, those two things are reversed. The base is a variable, and it's being raised to some constant power. So an exponential function would be something of the form 3 to the x power. A power function would be something like x cubed. So we need to pay attention to where that variable is, where the constant is, to identify whether we have an exponential or a power function. When we're dealing with exponential and log functions, there are two special cases to consider. And those are the cases where our functions are both base e, where e is that mathematical constant that's approximately equal to 2.2. 718, etc. So we've got that repeating decimal number. So our base e exponential function is e to the x, and our base e exponential function is ln of x, or the natural log of x. So we're going to start off with these two special cases, e to the x and the natural log of x. Differentiating e to the x, we get the derivative of e to the x is equal to just e to the x, so that function remains completely unchanged, times the derivative of that variable portion. So the derivative of x is just 1, so this becomes e to the x power. So derivatives of exponentials or derivative of e to the x is quite simple. That function just remains completely unchanged. To differentiate the log base e of x, or the natural log of x, we take the derivative of the natural log of x, and this becomes 1 over x times the derivative of that variable portion, x. So the derivative of x, again, is just 1. So our derivative becomes 1 over x. All of the previous properties that we've established still apply. 
So in example one, when we have the derivative of 7 minus 4x plus 9 e to the x, we can differentiate this term by term. So the derivative of 7 will become 0. The derivative of negative 4x will become minus 4. Then when we get to our new derivative property, 9 e to the x, 9 is still a constant multiple, so we can just set that aside and just focus on differentiating e to the x, where the derivative of e to the x is just e to the x. So we get negative 4 plus 9 e to the x. In example 2, here negative 10 is again a constant multiple. So we can just focus on differentiating the natural log of x by itself. So we'll get negative 10 times 1 over x plus 26x minus the derivative of 8 will just be 0. So we get negative 10 over x plus 26x. And in our last example here, example 3, we get 6e to the x. So 6 is our constant multiple. The derivative of e to the x is e to the x. The derivative of 5x will just be 5 minus 1 over x, the derivative of that natural log function. 